Saturday marked the first track and field district championship since 2019 because of last year's cancellation. And one local athlete took full advantage of the return to districts. Here's KQ2's Chris Roush with more. I was just thinking, do not crash. I was like, because I'm top four if I don't crash. Saturday's performances sent St. Joseph Christian senior Brooklyn Miller on to the class one sectional round as the Lions senior finished top three in all four of her events. First in the high jump, first in javelin, second in 300 hurdles, and third in the shot put. It's been hard to keep all of them consistently getting place, and so today being able to get top four in order to move on was really big for me. Miller heads to the sectional round as the defending state class one high jump champion from 2019 and the javelin runner-up from her sophomore season two. I really got to give it to my coaches and all the people that have just been pushing me because sometimes as an athlete you're just like my, I'm done my body's done and this Having those people being like, you got this, you can do this, is really what ultimately gets me through the days and the practices. Miller excels at the javelin and high jump, but because she's heading to the University of Nebraska, she added a couple of events this year with it working out so far. For college next year, hopefully, I am wanting to go as a heptathlete. So I need a hurdling and I need that shot put. So getting those uh, ready early before college is why. And by needing the shot and hurdles, Miller will look to add to an already impressive high school career when she heads to sectionals. Of course, I want to maintain my state champion in the high jump, but I really hope to get that first place uh, title in the javelin and place in my other two events as well, and maybe even get a plaque as a team for our girls. Chris Roush, KQ2 Sports. Class 1 sectionals take place Saturday down in Higginsville.